anything that can take away some pain I'm gonna try they're from Amazon they're really really cheap imagine him like laying in the little hospital bed I am getting all snuggled up though because there's a lot to go through I'm gonna be showing you what's in my hospital bag what's in Wesson's hospital bag I know you guys have been waiting for this video for quite some time I'm now 38 weeks pregnant so anytime now we're gonna be grabbing these bags and leaving Okay, I'm going to start with actually what we're going to leave in the car. This stuff is boring things, but things that definitely might might be necessary, but in the off chance that they are necessary, they're necessary and I'm going to need them. Old towel. Um, this one is like one we use to clean things up or for Barrett's feet or paws or something like that. It is clean right now, but anyways, an old towel so that I can sit on if my water breaks before we head off to the hospital. Um, or if it were to break while we were in the car. Um, I've heard of that and I thought that was genius, so definitely that. And then also I'm gonna bring just a bag so if I happen to throw up. Um, the other night I did actually throw up a few times, which isn't typically like me. And I have absolutely no fever, nothing, so I think it had all to do with just pregnancy, my body preparing. So I know people throw up in labor sometimes, so I definitely wanna go ahead and bring that. Then obviously a car seat, we're gonna need his car seat. Whew, and it is snowing right now. I live in Ohio and it is the winter time. So I have a um, car seat cover that's like a really thick, nice one for him for going home. So we have that one. To start, I'm going to show you guys Wesson's little diaper bag. It's obviously his hospital bag right now. This is a Hap brand um, Levi backpack. I love it because the backpack style is obviously like just so nice for on the go, you know. This thing, seriously guys, this thing is like the Lamborghini of freaking like diaper bags because this is so stylish and it's like just such good quality the straps like the uh yeah the straps they're just like really like ugh, i wish you could touch it it's just really gushy and nice the flap is like freaking huge and that's something i was super impressed when i opened it up the other day so i just got it in the mail my dog is trying to get in here that was wild he literally like move the handle I could fit way more even than I have in here but I just have Wesson's things in here and I really don't need that much for him for the hospital starting with swaddles and like hats and like his clothes his going home outfit that kind of thing anything for him I know they have so the clothes are either going home outfit or honestly just to get a quick cute picture um, I have this little bag baby things bag and in here I have his going home outfit and then some hats so let me pull that out. Oh, also socks. I have these stinky, cute, tiny socks. They're the tiniest socks I have, so I'm like, I have to pack this in the hospital bag because if he's going to wear them anytime, it's going to be around when he's a very much newborn. So this one is like gray with little black stars, and this one's so cute. They're little white socks, and it says the word cute on them. Oh, so adorable. Um, my parents actually got me that, and then... This is a little hat that we could put him in when he's leaving. It's so stinking and darling. Actually, a subscriber got me this. So he's going to be coming home in this hat that they got me, or she got me, Jody is her name. So thank you, Jody, again. Um, okay, so here are the hats to go with. Hey, this is going to work out nice with his crib back there. I can set stuff there. Little copper and pearl swaddle and then little hat, honestly, just for pictures. He doesn't need to actually be swaddled up in it. Um, the hospital has things that he actually like needs and then again um i think grant wanted me to bring this actually it's just a little sleep sack and a little hat to go with it i'm like envisioning this in like the background and then him wrapped up in that little swaddle on top and then um for picture purposes then i have these two little signs i know people it's not necessary but people are like starting to bring little signs to get a good picture and like what would that be like an announcement photo or something my mom made me this it's exactly what i wanted it just has his name weston grant on there so i imagine him like laying in the little hospital bed and then putting this by there um i think that is really really sweet and if you are one of the people that doesn't share baby names before they're born this would be a really cute thing to bring um that way you could announce your baby name that way this is just like a letter board and then don't forget the letters <laughs> if you're bringing a letter board don't forget the letters you could even already have like the weight like kind of typed out like ounces and stuff and then obviously you just need to stick the numbers in there i've seen people do that i don't know if i'm even gonna use this i just am bringing it just in case i know a lot of people like it so 
If you're someone who wants a letter board, maybe this video will help you remember to pack your letter board. Okay, his going home outfit. Let me show you guys this. It is so freaking cute. Okay, okay, okay. Little pants are just little like bear pants. They're little newborn like with bears on them. The little coat jacket thing is a little teddy coat with little ears and he will look like a little bear. Love that. And then the onesie says little answered prayer. Everything else is actually useful. Literally, I promise. Do not click out. Everything else is useful. Just Wesson's stuff is more for picture. Um, I do have this little portable sound machine that also a subscriber got as well. Um, so when we take him home, we could use this. Or if we would want to use it, like, even in the hospital. I don't know if we will use this. So that's something that I could check back in after we have him. Um, and then in this just front compartment here, I have one thing for myself in here just because it's like hidden and that is underwear. Um, and I'm not going to pull them out because they're just like old underwear that I already have. I know you can buy like larger underwear that's black and stuff like that, but I was looking on Amazon and I'm like, you know what? I just have old underwear that I can literally just throw away right after. So that's what I'm doing. I didn't go and buy black big underwear. You totally can. Um, it's just one extra thing that you need to buy for the hospital that you're going to end up throwing away. The way this thing is built, this thing, <laughs> the way this diaper bag is like created, it really keeps its structure with the uh, bottom. This changing pad I got in blue from them. And they have this color even in the in the backpack. So definitely check that out. And it's all with gold um, accents. You guys know I love black and gold together. So the black with the gold really offsets it. But this changing pad is memory foam. So it's like so ushy gushy. I wish you could feel it. It is such a nice changing pad. I know most changing pads aren't um, memory foam. So if Weston is about to be spoiled, it just is a nice cute little pop and flare that way you're still like carrying around something that's like cute and stylish and not just a boring diaper bag these are black just silk pajamas and I got them in a size large now typically before pregnancy I've had people ask me that question um, just curious what my size is before pregnancy and it's a small or extra small so I bought this in a size large and I was going in between medium large or, or even extra large like I just did not know but I definitely think large is the size I'm gonna need because I'm still gonna have a belly after like I just gave birth to a human I'm still gonna have a belly and I'm gonna want something that's just like loose you know and what I like about these is the silk they're comfortable but also they just like look really nice and put together if people are over visiting or whatever oh and that they're black that's something that's like was so important to me because I'm gonna be bleeding a lot I'm sure and then after if I even need to throw these away if I ruin them and they get gross they were not very expensive I can just throw them away um, but I do actually plan on like pretty much wearing this like the whole time after I have him um, and once again I think it looks nice it doesn't just look like pajamas you know like ugly pajamas and it's you know a button down so that's good for breastfeeding because I am gonna try to breastfeed um okay going on I have a nursing tank and a nursing bra again in black this is my going home outfit so I just have nice stretchy like windbreaker camo pants um for coming home and they are loose and just comfortable I think I'm gonna want something loose and comfortable and even if I end up having a c-section um, I might not even want these because the band is it's loose but it still is kind of tight at the same time so I am bringing those but because I just want sweatpants I just want comfy I'm definitely not gonna want anything cute especially for the car ride home I've heard some horror stories about coming home after the hospital and like the bumps and stuff and yeah, so also, these are Grant's, um, like, sleeping pajama pants. I'm gonna have him pack these, and I might even go home in this. Like, my going home outfit does not need to be cute. It needs to be practical. So if I have a C-section or something, I'm gonna want to put these on. I'm sure of it. This is like a blanket cardigan type thing. Like, it is thick and just nice and warm and comfy. And maybe even after I have Weston walking around the hospital and cold and I just want something over me, I've seen people um, do that. And so that's why I'm bringing that. These freaking cute slippers. Grant got me these for Christmas, actually. And I haven't... I, at first, I started wearing them a lot. They're from Amazon. They were really, really cheap. Um, 
I started wearing them a lot at first. I'm like, wait, no, I need to save these and use them for the hospital. So I know some people just walk around in like either hospital socks or their socks or whatever. Um, but these are like have a hard grippy bottom. Who knows? I might even pull up to the hospital in this when it all when it all is said and done. <laughs> um, but these are the slippers that I do want to have for the hospital. We'll see if I use them or not. But I am someone who likes slippers and likes my feet having socks on. Some people don't like slap socks. I'm a big sock fan. I already had this so I wasn't going to go buy another one. And I might not even use this. I just know I've heard a lot of people talk about like when nurses are coming in and out of your room you might want this just to try to get any kind of sleep or anything or any sense of light could wake you up. Um, so I've heard people say even if they don't ever have never slept with an eye mask before that they might want to while they're in labor. So I'm going to bring it just in case. I'll let you guys know after if I use it or not. Flip flops for the shower because the hospital shower is nasty. These are actually really cute socks that my best friend got me for Christmas time. And they say mom on them. I think these are literally so sweet. So as soon as she got me them, I'm like, okay, I am so taking those to the hospital thing. And this might be something that you guys can not have to pack and be able to cross off your list easy that you don't need socks. But, like I said, I, I'm that kind of weirdo that likes to sleep in socks. So, I definitely need socks and I need slippers. That I know me. You know yourself. So, pack what you need. These are also from Hap Brand. They're nice because they're easy to, like, wipe away again. They're that kind of material. Um, so, it comes with a big, a medium, and a small. And then they come in the blue color, the pink color, and then also, like, a beige color, which I love the beige. And if they come out with a... Um, a diaper bag and beige oh my gosh I have to if I didn't end up having one on my wrist I would be really ticked off if I don't have a hair tight so just put one in your bag and then I also even have like a butterfly clip here if I need it I have deodorant and I have body wash and then a brush here chapstick I've heard chapstick is huge that your lips get super dry not bringing shampoo and conditioner just because I don't really care that much I can go two days. I mean, if I have vomit in my hair, that's going to be disgusting, but I'll just use what the hospital has at that point. Um, or he heck, I'll just freaking use my shower gel for my hair. I don't know if, if that's the case if something that crazy happens, but I am going to go ahead and bring my dry shampoo just in case I need something, but I really do know myself and I think I can go just fine two, three days without washing my hair. Might be gross, but hey, I have dry shampoo and I don't live that far away from the hospital. I know some people get super, super hot in labor. So you might want to think about bringing one of those like mini clippable fans, but I'm not because I know my hospital has one if I do get hot. I'm not planning on like having my makeup all done when I'm in labor. Like we will just see whatever I have on. I hardly ever wear makeup, honestly. I just decided to for this video. Um, but whatever I have on before I go into labor is what I have on and that is that. I do have um, makeup wipes in here and I hear that's like just a must because if you have like um, mascara on your lashes even like after labor you can really get that like raccoon look I heard someone say that with her first baby she um, didn't have makeup on so she didn't think anything of it but the leftover mascara made that raccoon so when she got her pictures all her pictures she just looked like even more miserable than you do after labor so she said with her second baby she brought these and right away she just asked for a wipe really quick so she could wipe underneath there I'm not saying literally right away like whatever I, it's just something I'm gonna bring um, and then as far as makeup goes, I think I might, I might put it on like the second day or something. Most likely I'm not even going to need any of this makeup, but I'm going to bring it just in case. All that I'm bringing is my foundation, foundation brush. I have two concealers here because I'm running out and I need to buy more. My concealer brush, mascara. This is like a product from Pixie that I just, I have some on today actually even, but I won't get into it too much, but it's a product that is really nice and then the brush with it, it kind of honestly is like a bronzer, highlight, and blush all in one. It's pretty wild, so um, if you want to know more about that, I guess just comment and I can talk to you about that product. This video is already so long and that's the last thing I need to start talking about. Toothbrush, toothpaste, all that in here, me and Grants, and it is dirty because we actually use this every single day. I have done a lot of research about postpartum aftercare good products that there are to have. I heard so many good things about these brands. So this is a perennial spray and I know they do Dermaplast, which I know is amazing too. 
and I have that. Um, my friend Maddie actually got me a spray of that and I have that at um, my house. So I will be able to use that when I get back. But I know the hospital does supply that so that's why I'm not packing that as well. But this is Earth Mama's Herbal Perennial Spray. Take care of down there. And I just have heard so many incredible things about this that you just really spray down there and it numbs you and you're good to go. So that's why I got this because anything that can possibly help me extra when I'm in that much pain um I want to try this is another thing that I'm like super excited to have and try and um yes I'm excited about this after ease for pregnancy um herbal dietary supplement drops whatever what it's supposed to be incredible for like I've heard so many mamas raving about this drops that you put in your water after you have labor because I guess your uterus or something like that is um after you have labor you still have like contraction cramps because your uterus is shrinking back down and that's something that me as a first time mom I would never ever 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 think about the pain of that but I've heard a lot of people say it is really painful so that um, if you use these drops and just drop it in your water or whatever it really takes away that those cramps right away so again I'm gonna be in so much pain and I'm gonna want to try to enjoy my baby as much as I possibly very much so can um, so anything that can take away some pain, I'm going to try. These two things, I would say definitely go ahead and pick up. Um, and I don't think you're going to regret it because everyone has been saying that they work a ton. I do have, and I don't know, my hospital might even have this supplied, but I do have some nipple cream here because I might need it. The Haka breast pump here. I haven't taken it out of the package yet, but I will talk about this actually in a different video. I am so excited about this in that I also have the Haka um, nipple shield for breastfeeding. I might not even use either of these at the hospital right away, but I know like right away when I get home, these are going to be two huge lifesavers. So I will talk about this more in a different video, but I am definitely going to pack them because um, just in case if I need them, I might as well just have them, you know. I'm going to have my boppy pillow. Um, I might just actually take it with me and leave it in the car because I don't know if I'm going to end up actually needing it. I'm not having too many visitors, so I don't think too many people are going to need it to actually hold the baby for support because I'm not having too many visitors. But I might want it for like breastfeeding purposes. It might be easier. So I just plan on bringing it, but leaving it in the car and then deciding if I need Grant to go down and grab it or not. I have lactation cookie bites. They just look yummy and I hear they can help with your milk supply. I don't know, I just have them. I'm gonna wanna eat something at some point. I have nursing pads. I'm sure the hospital has some. Um, and I have a ton more at home, but this is like just like a little sample kit that I got and something. So I'm like, you know what, I'll go ahead and bring them just in case they don't have them. I've heard amazing things about tux, so I'm actually gonna bring the tux and I'm gonna leave these at home. <laughs> I didn't even realize I had two of the same thing. So yes, these cooling pads I will go ahead, go ahead and bring because I've heard incredible things about them and then I have more for when I get home. Last thing that's like for help down there, um, and this is an extra thing to get, but again, I've heard so many incredible moms talk about this. Now this is the Frida um, Perry bottle and the hospital does, that's really fancy, I haven't even opened it up yet. <laughs> um the hospital does give you a peri bottle, but I've worked at the hospital and it's like nothing fancy at all. But they do give you one, so if you don't have the extra money or want to spend the extra money on a peri bottle, then don't get it. Um, because the hospital has it, at least my hospital does. But what I've heard about this peri bottle is the way that it's like angled, it's so nice on down there and it really gets where you need it to get. And also Aspen Ovard was talking how her mom should, I mean, have no shame in helping you after you're, you just popped a baby out of your hoo-ha. But if it's your husband or your mom or whoever you have there helping you when you need to go to the bathroom, Aspen would have, would do her front or something and her mom would spray, spray her back or something like that. So that's two Perry bottles going at you. And um, so I might even still use the one the hospital has. I don't know. But I just heard incredible things about the way this is angled. And then also when I get home, I can use this too. So I am definitely glad I went ahead and got this because I think... And then I can use it for my other babies too. And it really was not that expensive. It was like $10 or something. Anything that's going to help me, I'm going to go ahead and take. 
Um, oh, I have my pillow here. I hear if you bring a pillow, don't bring one that's a white pillowcase because all hospitals use white pillowcases and you don't want to leave yours at the hospital. So money for vending machines, um, I think Grant should bring because he might get hungry and need to go use a vending machine. So that's something good to have your husband's bring. Snacks for himself. My memory card, my camera, um, my camera battery charger, that stuff. Let me see if there's anything else that I forgot. Oh, my ID um, and insurance information, you might want to bring that. And that is everything. So that was a ton of stuff. I am so sorry this video is so long and all over the place. Definitely go ahead and check out Hap Brand. And this is the Levi backpack. It's in the size large. The amount of room that's in here, now that amazes me. So definitely check this out again, even if you're not a new mom, if you just are wanting like a stylish backpack, because just because your mom does not mean you don't need to be stylish. <laughs> I am so excited to freaking go into labor, like hurry up, dude. But if I don't um, go in anytime now, it's still coming soon. So I need to just enjoy my bump. I will show you guys my bump because I know everyone loves to look at bumps. So there it is. So cute. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys are new here, definitely subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you want to. I do post there and that's probably where you, you actually will meet Wesson on Instagram before you will meet him on YouTube just because it's more like fast, you know? So thank you for watching. Bye! <laughs>